So what comes to mind when you hear the word fat baby? Sure, it has connotations of cuteness, but it is actually a common complication of infants born to mothers with gestational diabetes mellitus, or GDM. So each year, a significant number of women around the world will develop GDM. And in Australia, about 5% of all pregnant women will have this condition. So what is GDM? Well, GDM is defined as glucose intolerance, or high blood glucose concentration in the bloodstream of the mother, with onset of first recognition during pregnancy. So during a normal pregnancy, insulin, which is a hormone secreted by the pancreas in the body, becomes less effective in transferring glucose from the bloodstream to the mother's tissues, and this ensures an adequate nutrient supply to the baby. As the pregnancy advances, insulin becomes less effective, and GDM occurs when the mother no longer secretes enough insulin to be able to meet this resistance. And this then results in the excess transfer of fuels across the placenta to the baby, and this results in overgrowth. And indeed, previous studies have shown that GDM infants have increased birth weight and body fat, and this predisposes them to certain complications such as birth traumas and cesarean sections. And GDM also has long-term effects on the infant. Fat infants are at an increased risk of diabetes and obesity. And if the offspring is female herself, she is likely to develop GDM, and this perpetuates this intergenerational vicious cycle of diabetes and obesity. Interrupting the cycle will be a public health imperative. So my study investigates whether GDM treatment can reduce the effect of high blood glucose concentration on the accumulation of infant body fat. So my study consisted of 532 babies born to mothers without diabetes and 67 babies born to mothers with GDM. In our GDM group, treatment consisted of diet, exercise, self-monitoring of glucose four times a day and insulin if needed to maintain the glucose targets and good glycemic control was achieved in most of our GDM mothers. In terms of body composition in the infants, we used the gold standard method of air displacement plethysmography to measure the body composition changes. So briefly, the infant is placed on the scale and its weight is measured, and it is placed inside a glass-like chamber for about two minutes, where air displacement is measured using pressure and volume changes. Body fat percentage is then computed. Surprisingly, we found there were no differences in body fat percentage between the GDM and the non-GDM infants. And this is in contrast to previous studies which show that even if birth weight can be normalised with good glucose control, body fat is still increased in these infants. And so my study, to my knowledge, is the first to demonstrate that normal newborn body composition can be achieved in treated GDM mothers with good glucose control. And since the development of body fat in the infants is correlated with the subsequent development of obesity and diabetes, treatment of GDM can be a way to stop this vicious cycle of GDM.